up guys it's your girl Stacy Cake your host for what's hot and I am back with another trailer reaction this time it's for the Lion King 2 like the live action version it's called Mufasa colon the Lion King so yeah y'all my last video it was after single de mayo i was doing asmr but i'm back to the regular scheduled programming but i would definitely want to have fun with these things so hope you guys enjoyed it if you haven't checked it out already my last post was about the film if so yeah now let's get into this lion king trailer so the last live action lion king came out in 2019 yeah, and this one already has kind of went viral because Beyonce and her daughter Blue Ivy are voicing characters in this one. And if you know, you know, Beyonce was in the last one. So, you know, it's hilarious that, you know, manager Blue Ivy is now on the casting list. She's stepping on, on the forefront this time. So, yeah, let's get into it. This story begins far beyond the mountains and the shadows. On the other side of the light. So pretty. A lion was born without a drop of nobility in his blood. A lion who would change our lives forever. Mufasa. The earth will shake. Destiny awaits you. Rolling, Donald Glover, Blue Ivy Carter, Beyonce, of course. December. December. Okay. So, this is going to be a good prequel. So, first things first. Um, cinematically speaking, the visuals are always on point um the first live action lion king the visuals were like amazing very realistic um a little too realistic for me in some areas because i really like that i'm a big kid let me preface by saying this so take this with a grain of salt but i really like the characters to still resemble the animated characters which to me was a little like jarring to see Timon and Pumbaa not look as much like their characters as they did in the animated one but logically it makes sense that they look the way that they did there's just the kid in me that wanted him to have a little red hair and Pumbaa to be brown you know just those things but um yeah cinematically it looks amazing I love the details I love the realisticness of the 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 desert and the water and just the incorporation of all the animals like it's really kumbaya it's a kumbaya moment and um if you i don't know if you guys know but they actually have so in the animated franchise it was lion king 2 simba's pride and it talked about simba and nala's daughter ended up going with a uh, young man, a young cub by the name of Kovu, who reminded Simba too much of Scar. So if you haven't watched that, y'all gotta see that. But this is the prequel. So at first I thought it was gonna like be like a remix of this one, but this is the prequel. So this is about Mufasa's childhood before Simba. 
So that's where we at storyline wise. I hope I didn't confuse y'all with me talking about The Lion King 2. But I really enjoy The Lion King 2. So fun fact, I actually saw The Lion King 2 before I saw the regular Lion King when I was a child. So I actually grew up watching Lion King 2 Simba's Pride. Yeah, so okay, let's let's talk about the more about the trailer. So cinematically on point, um, I think we are going to the challenge here is going to be for them not to mess up the story that the fans already know that is what's going to be key because if it makes sense the way that i'm hoping we'll we may even learn why scar is the way that he is or the way that he was in the regular lion king film that we all know so it's going to be interesting and I think they have a lot of opportunity here to fill in some gaps in the main storyline that we're familiar with. Not that I think there were any major gaps in the main storyline, but for them to embellish and expand on what we already know and give us more background about why Scar was a hater. Why, um, why was... Mufasa so protective as a father to Simba like those things um and he made comments in the main film about how he how Simba was just like him when he was a cub so I think it's it's a lot of opportunity here for them to to really expand on the storyline that we also love because so many generations love the Lion King so they really can't mess this up you know what i mean like it's 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 a challenge but i i i based on the trailer i feel like they can rise to the challenge and i think a lot of people for the most part enjoyed the live action of the first one i enjoyed it i thought like i said it was some things about the animated version that i'm just in love with that i miss but i really enjoyed it and i thought they did a good job of casting the voices of those characters so i'm excited to see um how those characters return and in which way i know we're gonna miss timon and pumbaa because they won't be in this one um if it's the prequel i don't guess they would be in this one unless it starts as um a flashback or it has scenes from the present day or whatever you may be so yeah i think that's going to be exciting um what else So a line that really stood out to me in the trailer was when it said a lion was born without a drop of nobility in his blood. So that's interesting because the Mufasa that we know um, as Lion King fans is very noble. He's a very noble lion from day one. His son Simba admired him because he was courageous. And just so like we don't blur the lines about what nobility is, we're going to look up the definition belonging to a hereditary class with high social or political status aristocratic having or showing fine personal qualities or high moral principles and ideals so it's going to be interesting why it's interesting to me about how they say he didn't have a drop of nobility because as we know the laws of the jungle like just like um a lot of our governmental systems in the world today like things are passed down so are they saying that Mufasa's father wasn't a king wasn't the king of the jungle because noble belonging to a hereditary class with high social political status so that to me suggests that maybe we're gonna learn how Mufasa's line came into power um that's very that's gonna be fun if they're saying he doesn't have an ounce of nobility in his blood that has to mean that his bloodline wasn't royalty yet wasn't wasn't noble yet um if they're saying he didn't have it in his blood hmm. okay 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 all right so that leaves room for a whole nother storyline and maybe that's why scar is so upset in the storyline that we know because he feels like you know if we're just stepping into this why am i not just as good as my brother y'all they're gonna make us feel bad for scar 
That's where this is going. They're going to make us feel bad for Scar because you know, that's the thing now making us empathize with villains and all that. And you know, the social media means when they be like, Oh, who everyone thought was the villain versus who the real villain was. Yeah. I think that's, that's what we're going to be dealing with here. Um, granted, could Mufasa ever be the villain after that death fall that Scar sent him to? And then he made his son believe that he killed his father when it was a setup the whole time. That's crazy. I, mean, I don't know if we could ever really feel bad for Scar, but Disney, I'm excited to see you try and make this happen. Maybe it'll be one of those things, like I said, for the, um, the Joker, where it's like, I don't agree with what you did, but I understand. Maybe, maybe it's going to be one of those situations. So, um, yeah, as far as storyline, I'm excited to see where they expand upon and what, what angle they take to make this completely different from the, the, the Lion King we're all familiar with. Um, and I think it's something that just grabbing about nature, turning an animated film that's set in a, a natural setting like the jungle or underwater and bringing it to life on screen it's just it's gonna win for the visuals alone it's gonna have a fan base for the visuals alone so i think when we look at this the lion king is gonna have an unfair advantage and we already see as most um franchises do they take it from like dry land to water to Ariel, something like that, just to switch it up from what we've already seen. The Lion King is a classic, a classic. Um, and I'm gonna find out what what role Blue Ivy plays, because I know that's a big one for everyone. Let's, so let's see if they list it yet. So all oh, Vandy Newton is in it as well. She's Taka's mother, Eshi. Um, Zazu is in it by um he's voiced by Preston Nyman Nyman um I'm trying to see y'all Donald Glover is Simba oh yes so Kiara y'all this is crazy so okay they are definitely going to touch on remember how I mentioned the Lion King 2 when I first started this off I didn't even read this whole cast list before I started this trailer so Blue Ivy Carter is going to be voicing Kiara the daughter of King Simba and Queen Nala Queen Nala is as we know playing by played by Beyonce so Kiara was the lead storyline was the center of the storyline in the Lion King 2 Simba's Pride. So that's why I said, I think in this film, we're going to be jumping back and forth between what happened with Mufasa and the current life of Simba and Nala. And I think that's going to seg us way. This is the prequel. I think this film is going to make a segue somewhere a year or two down the line to the sequel of the Lion King Simba's Pride. I think... I think this is where we're going with this because that sealed the deal. I wasn't sure what role Blue Abby Carter was going to play, but if she's playing Kiara, that means they're sticking to that storyline. They're just expanding the franchise even more. So again, if you guys haven't seen The Lion King Simba's Pride, watch it. Watch it. You will see what I'm saying. So yeah, Danny Newton is in it. Tiffany Boone is Sarabi. Um, Aaron Pierre is Mufasa. And I'm trying to see who is playing Scar. Scar. Scar has to be in this. Like, you're not telling me Scar is not in this. Oh my God. Do y'all want me to tell? So if y'all don't want to know more about the storyline yet, then don't watch this part. But I'm about to tell y'all. So this is just from the cast list. So Kelvin Harrison Jr. is playing as Taka. This is what it says next to his role. A lion prince with a bright future who accepts Mufasa into his family as brother. This is why Scar was pissed. This is why Scar was pissed. Bruh, he wasn't even in the family. Mufasa was adopted. Mufasa was adopted. So that's why Scar was a hater. Cue, cue the Kendrick Lamar, cue the Kendrick Lamar disc. Yeah, listen, I'm gonna 
me say I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. I hate the way that you sneak this. If I catch flight, this will be direct. Same energy. Same energy that Scar has for Mufasa. Hold on, y'all. I want my noodles to burn. So I didn't, like I said, I just was given a raw reaction to the trailer. But now that y'all, we know the Mufasa was adopted. Now that's new. I don't think, if y'all knew that, comment below. Cause I didn't know, never heard of Mufasa being adopted. That's crazy. So Scar's name probably Y'all, y'all, oh my God. Taka is Scar. Taka is Scar. Scar didn't have the Scar at first. It was Taka. They called him Scar after he got the Scar. Yeah, boy. This gonna be some Joker vibes. It's gonna be, I don't agree with what you did, but I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. Bruh, this is messing me up. So Kelvin Harris Jr. Harris Jr. as Taka. Taka accepts Mufasa into his family as brother, but he gonna invite him in and you gonna take my position as king? Hell nah, hell nah. Y'all, they gonna try to make us hate Mufasa, bruh. I knew it. Didn't I tell you? I, I know this because I, I watched too much stuff. I know they was going to try to make us feel bad for Scar. And that's, y'all, they might get away with it. All right, y'all. I think, I think I've revealed a lot. We got a lot. This is coming out in December. Um, yeah, so it's going to be, it's going to be a big deal. I'm in there. I'm in there like swimwear. So, okay, I'm just going to read, I'm just going to read the, um, the, the summary and we're going to wrap this video up because I think I done spilled some tea, y'all. So it says, Mufasa the Lion King enlists Rafiki to relay the legend of Mufasa to, li to young Lion King cub Kiara, daughter of Simba and Nala, with Tamun and Pumbaa lending their signature shtick. Told in flashbacks, the story introduces Mufasa as an orphan cub, lost and alone until he meets a sympathetic lion cub named Taka to the heir to a royal bloodline. The chance meeting sets in motion an expansive journey of an extraordinary group of misfits searching for their destiny. Their bonds will be tested as they work together to evade a threatening and deadly foe. <sighs> I think that says it all, y'all. We we already see what's coming. This is a twist I did not see coming because if they would have said earlier that Mufasa was was adopted, I would have guessed this. But they they never said that before. They never said that before. But this also presents the challenge again. They can't mess up the storyline that we already know. And what's sticking out to me right now is the moment in the first Lion King, um, live action and animated, when Mufasa and Simba are talking and they're talking about the ancestors and the kings and his father and father that came before me. So he's like, look up into the stars and you will see our ancestors, me and the king kings before me. So that kind of made it sound like Mufasa knew his real father, but maybe not, maybe not. Let's see what they do with it. But I think that's something they're going to have to keep in mind and not mess up the storyline that we as fans of the Lion King, as many of us are already know. So yeah, guys, that is my reaction to this trailer. I have nothing else to say. Um, this is actually, what is this? This is the teaser? I don't even think. I'm sure it doesn't come out until December, so I'm sure there's going to be more teasers and trailers out um, leading up to this. But this is crazy, 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 crazy to like learn. And let me know what y'all think about this storyline. Did y'all know... That's what you got to comment. Did you know that Mufasa was adopted or is this new? Did I miss something? Let me know in the comments. Um, thank you guys for watching. This was a little bit of a longer one today, but thank you guys for watching. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.